Team Planner, Resource Planning and Capacity Planning is a capacity visualization application for agile teams fully integrated with JIRA. The data is presented in a simple and clear calendar format. Here you can see a list of all my plans. Let me open one. This plan already includes the data I added earlier for this video. On this plan, you can see the users and their assigned JIRA issues. The plan can be simultaneously edited by multiple users, meaning that, for example, the entire team can plan their work simultaneously during planning sessions. JIRA issues can be dragged and dropped, extended, moved from one user to another, added from the calendar by clicking on the plus icon, and unassigned. By clicking on the issue key, you can open the ticket from JIRA view. Let me go back to the plan. You can see the summary of the JIRA issue, its status in JIRA, and its priority. You can also display story points or original estimate values to estimate the effort it will take to complete the tasks in the plan. Choose the Buy Story Points option to display the story points of your tasks. The story points will be visible next to the priority value on the task box. What's more, the app adds up all the points of your tasks added to the plan and displays them at the top. For example, right now I'm displaying story points, and on this plan 16 of 64 story points have been delivered. Choose the Buy Original Estimate option to display the original estimated time of your tasks. The time will be visible next to the priority value on the task box. What's more, the app adds up all the time of your tasks added to the plan and displays them at the top. There's also a progress bar of the plan related to the current displayed estimation option. It shows you how far you are from completing your plan. The statuses will calculate the percentages based on the JIRA issues, estimates, and status categories of the JIRA issues. When it comes to users, you can add as many as you want to your plan. You can drag and drop them or remove a particular user from the plan. Under the username, you can see three key summaries. The number of working days available for the user, the number of issues allocated to the user within the plan, total estimate of the tasks assigned on the plan to the user. The estimates will change to story points or original estimates, depending on the selected options. The total will sum up all the values of the selected estimates from the issues allocated to the user on the plan. If the same issue is assigned to more than one user, for both users, it will be counted as the same value. We all like to take some holidays. It is useful for other users to know what day a particular user will not be at work. On the plan, you can easily add a day off by clicking on the plus icon. You can also describe the reason behind the day off. You can also mark the whole day as a non-working day by clicking on the three dots next to the date and selecting Mark as non-working day. Looking for specific tasks? Of course, you can scroll your tasks and load more from the left-hand sidebar. But maybe you would like to narrow down your search. Open a filtering panel and choose your filters. You can filter your tasks by the summary project. Sprint. Issue type. Assignee and status. If you use the Sprint filter, the app only shows you JIRA tasks related to the particular Sprint. You can also filter plan backlog by unscheduled issues. The filter will show you then the tasks that haven't been added to the plan yet. Each plan needs a goal, right? You can add your goal to the plan by clicking on the highlighted field. 
the goal will be visible to all users who view the plan. Let me show you now how you can create a new plan. But wait a second, where is the save button? Do I lose the changes I made? No worries. Our plans are saved automatically, so you can comfortably get out of the plan and your changes will be preserved. Being on the Team Planner dashboard page, click on the Create New Plan button to create a new plan. You will then see a modal where you must provide data to create your plan. Add the name of your plan. Next, choose the main project for the plan. Choosing a project is only important for the permissions. In case a user does not have access to the project you're choosing here, the plan won't be visible to him or her. Still, you will be able to use the tasks from multiple projects on your plan. The project setting cannot be changed later on after you create the plan. Then, choose the duration of your plan. You can either use the settings like two weeks, for example, or select manually the start date and end date. Click on the Apply Changes button to create your new plan. Your newly created plan is empty, and you can start by adding your users or a goal. Then, you can assign the tasks to your users. There's one more setting I haven't mentioned yet. You can edit the details of your plan by clicking on the Edit Details button next to the name of the plan. It's also worth mentioning that you can either display your plan in the light mode or dark mode, which looks fantastic in my opinion. The last thing I want to show you is a possibility to hide the app from some users. Jira Admin can restrict access to the app by selecting specific users or groups who can see and access the app. To find this option, go to Apps. Manage your apps. Team Planner Permissions. And select users or groups that can see and use the Team Planner app. If the user does not have access to the app, the application will disappear for this user from the Apps tab. With Team Planner planning, your teamwork is easier and more productive. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Try the application for free for 30 days. Links in the description.